Photos of a male pastor who is used to wearing high heels in the church have caused a commotion on the internet. The unidentified pastor is seen in one of the photos ministering on lecturing his feminine footwear. Many people have wondered what may have inspired the man's fashion sense while others found it weird. You need to watch this video till the end at least for you to find out why and what he said uh, caused him to be wearing this and what I think. He said God told him something and I am thinking a different thing. Um, uh, I'm thinking on a different path. What may have, you know, uh, prompted this. Thank you very much and welcome to the channel once again. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Something is not right with somebody here. We have been uh, having this argument should women put on trousers? Should women dress like men? Should men put on women's clothes and should women put on men's clothes? Now, here is not even about um, women now putting on that squish pattern to men, but we, we are having something different here. What you are seeing here is like a joke to me. Somebody forwarded it to me on WhatsApp and I was like, e? What is this? I thought for a moment that this was comic. I thought this person was uh, a comedian. And you know, I actually didn't want to believe that he was a pastor because that is the headline. And I went to, uh, to search online. I found that he was also tagged a pastor and I refused to believe he was a pastor until I began to see different postures, different dresses, different shoes to match and actually saw him ministering to people standing behind the lectern you know and um actually <laughs> i was like what is this one again what is this one again what is this again now you can see him feeling so comfortable with you know um in female high heel shoes. You know, I was thinking to myself, would he be doing this because of his height? And um, and then I, I said, but how and why? How, how come? Is it because of his height? And you see, he feels comfortable doing these different attires with different shoes just like women, you know, spend a lot of money getting themselves um, a particular shoe for a particular dress. See, uh, this is, <laughs> you know, when I when I began to see pictures like where he is ministering to this woman that is seated uh, behind the lectern, and you see him also standing um, on his altar where you have band boys instruments. Then I, I got to believe that indeed, this one is a pastor. And when I read the the news, you know, the information about him on internet, though, is still scanty. But the truth is that this man indeed is a pastor. Although he was quoted to have said, and I quote, "I wore men's shoes, but I suffered from it." I have long suffered from illnesses such as body aches and other ailments that numerous medical consultations could not cure. In my prayers, God himself revealed himself to me and advised me to wear these shoes. That, you see, since then I've been running it 24-7. My pain is gone. Strange enough, just 
I hope. I just hope that uh, this is not what I think. You see, um, at least this one, this one that he's putting on, there is no argument about this one now. If this particular kind of footwear is for, or this kind of footwear are for women, you see, he is not just putting it on. In, it's not just a once-off thing. It is like a lifestyle to him. So there is no argument about it whether this one is for women and that one is for men. So coming from a pastor, it is it is shocking, not a bit of a, a shock. It is it is shocking. And the question is, um, what kind of congregation would this kind of a pastor raise? That is my question. What kind of followership would he have? What kind of... Um, um, youths will he raise? That is what I don't understand. And the surprising thing is that his members, his followers are quite at home with it. They don't seem to have found anything strange with it. Now, so, even though that we don't know what it is, may it not be that it is one of the things that he was asked to do as a sacrifice. You know, here, in this place, uh, the Yahoo boys, there are some of them that will run mad for like six months. Some will run mad for like one year. And after their madness, then they will be they will be made rich. You know, some of these people that go for ritual money, there are certain things they will be asked to do. So when they, they do ridiculous things, some of them will be asked to, you know, bath themselves in the in the public, in the open, in the public, you know, there was a day that we saw a man that was, he just parked his vehicle, came out and removed his clothes and started taking his bath in the open, you know, and the people caught him and some will pretend as if they, they are mad. Some will, uh, you know, just all kinds of weird things. So may it not be that this man is going through some form of rituals that Maybe after that, you know, he will blow off. His membership will skyrocket. And then, you know, people will be like, wow, something is happening there. Something is, because the devil will not, he will not give you anything free. He would want you to do things that are not, that are not, that are not, um, that are not normal. He wants you to do abnormal things. So I just hope that this is not one of those uh, sacrifices that he is going through because it is also strange that people uh, are okay with it. People are, are, you know, they feel normal with it. How would I feel to sit under a pastor, a male pastor that is dressing in this way, putting on female shoes? I mean, it is strange enough. Well, anyway, um, I'm just saying, so I would like to read your comment in the comment section, please. And if you are from the country where this man is, you may tell us, you may give us more information about him. Tell us what you know about him. Please put down your comment in the comment section. Like the video, please, if you do like the video and kindly share the link of the video. And if you are coming for the first time and you've not subscribed, do subscribe and activate the bell icon by selecting all so that next time we upload a video you will be among those that will receive it first remember not to forget to join our channel membership god bless you i'll be seeing you in the next video shortly till then from me to you shalom